In this video, we are going to discuss about derivation of effective diameter using three wire method. In this method, three wires of known diameter are used where two wires from one of the side and one wire from opposite side. So the wires are hang from the stand so that wire can adjust under the inverse. Here capital E that is effective diameter of screw thread and M is the diameter over the wire and small d is the diameter of wire. Here we are consider this part of single wire where this is the thread profile and this circle is considered as wire diameter. The angle of thread we are going to represent as x and half of thread angle that will be x by 2. Capital H is the depth of thread and pitch of thread is the distance from peak of one thread to the corresponding peak on next thread and it is denoted as capital P. I will join center point of wire with tangent points mn and at the center the pitch is divided into two parts so this distance is half of pitch. If you consider this point that is the point at effective diameter then this distance would be your pitch by 4 that is capital B by 4 and if this angle is half of thread angle that is x by 2 then this angle would be 90 minus x by 2. From triangle OMF the sin x by 2 is opposite side by hypotenuse side that is om by of where om is the half of wire diameter and sin x by 2 is 1 by 2 cosec x by 2 therefore of is equal to d by 2 cosec x by 2 now we are consider the second triangle fst where this angle will be 90 minus x by 2 and angle stf is x by 2 if we are consider tan x by 2 then it will be equal to opposite side fs to adjacent side st where distance fs is pitch by 2 and st is the depth of thread that is capital H therefore the value of h will be p by 2 1 by tan x by 2 and 1 by tan x by 2 is cot x by 2 if you see the figure length qf is half of depth of thread h therefore here qf is equal to p by 4 cot x by 2 because capital H is p by 2 cot x by 2. Now in figure the length small h is the distance between center of wire and effective diameter line which is length oq and I will write small h that is length oq in another form which is length of minus length qf because we already got the values of of and qf so I will put these values and with the values of of and qf we will be getting the formula for small h. Now see here distance over the wire denoted as capital M will be equal to E plus 2H plus 2R where E is the effective diameter and 2H is the twice of distance small h and 2R that is twice of radius of wire. So this total distance is our capital M which is distance over the wire. Therefore effective diameter E is equal to capital M minus 2H minus small d because twice of radius is equal to diameter. I will put the values of small h and after simplifying this equation we got formula for effective diameter that is capital E. So this is your final expression for effective diameter measurement. The standard nomenclature for metric thread will be depth of thread capital H is 0.6495 p and thread angle x is 60 degree and effective diameter for metric thread will be major diameter capital D minus 0.6495 pitch. So I will put all these values in equation and after simplifying this equation we got equation for capital M that is diameter over the wire. The standard nomenclature for width over thread will be thread angle x is 55 degree and depth of thread capital H is 0.64 p and effective diameter capital E will be equal to major diameter capital D minus 0.64 pitch. So I will put all these values in equation. And after simplifying this equation, we got equation for capital M that is diameter over the wire.